Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're doing another whip and book review. I feel like I always talk weird when I first start. Anyway, um, the book that I just finished is called Master of Salt and Bones by Carrie Lake. Um, I listened to the audiobook. It says the narrators were Stephanie K and Ryan West. I don't even know where to begin with this book. I mean, first of all, it's a dark romance. And I thought I had read dark romances before, and I know I have. It's just been a while, but I don't remember being this this dark. <laughs> it's just, it's been a long time since I read something like this. Um, let's see the genres of this book. It says, a romance, dark, fantasy, gothic, contemporary mystery adult mm. I'll read you the summary it says meet the devil of Blackthorn Manor when I was a little girl I dreamed a handsome knight would come and rescue me from my wretched mother he'd ride up on his white steed and break the curse I'd been fated to carry since the day I was born funny how things changed over time how the fairy tale twisted into something far more crooked and darker than I ever imagined in reality my knight is scarred and broken living alone in a castle of bones that overlooks the sea. He isn't searching for me. He never was. Lucian Blackthorn is as cursed as I am, and equally shunned by the locals, the fishers of men, who believe him to be the devil in the flesh. Perhaps he is, with the way his amber eyes draw me in, ignite me like an infernal blaze, and the sins he whispers in my ear are as wickedly intoxicating as the man himself. Yet his touch is heaven, and his will is my weakness. He calls us forbidden, an unsalvageable tragedy with no happy, happy end. Maybe we are, but in this story, he's the one who needs saving. Master of Salt and Bones is a dark, modern, gothic, contemporary, standalone romance. Looks like it was published in April of 2020. And the audiobook came out March 7th of 2023. At least the one I was listening to. Um, so yeah, it is dark, <laughs> a little depressing. I'll read you my review and do it my normal thing where I'll, you know, do the non-spoiler and then the spoilery spoilers. Um, to be honest, I did not know what I was getting into with this book. I had read dark romances before, but apparently they were on the lighter side of dark. At first, I found it difficult to get into. I did not see any trigger warnings for the book when I downloaded the audiobook. I have reread the description and still did not see any. I would have been more prepared if there had been some. I found a lot of it disturbing and depressing. I am not sure if I would have chosen to listen to this book if there had been appropriate trigger warnings. That said, after I finally got into it, I really got into it. Could someone tell me why these broken, damaged, usually cruel and domineering men are so attractive in these tales. At first I was put off by the main male character, but by the time someone's tongue was being cut out in the story, I was hooked. He is a possessive, controlling, and jealous individual. It works well in this story. The main female character is interesting to me. Her personality was a bit dark and sarcastic, which I love. She was young, and the author wrote her as a bit mature for her age, but not unbelievably so. I found many of her actions to be something that someone with her background and personality would believe I can't talk believably choose to do if that makes sense I read a review that said this is a disgusting story I didn't think so it has graphic sex scenes and some non vanilla scenes if that makes it disgusting to someone then they shouldn't be reading dark romance all in all I enjoyed the book it had triggering events and made me tear up a time or two. I found myself rooting for the relationship, even if the main male character is a bit of an asshole. There was enough action and twists that it kept me interested all the way to the end. Would I recommend it? Only to those who enjoy a bit of depravity and darkness in their romances. Oh, and lewd language and graphic sex scenes. To people who enjoy books like that, I definitely recommend this. To those that don't, I would say stay away or read it knowing what you're getting into and not leave bad reviews because it isn't the type of book you enjoy. That's just silly. So that was my review on Goodreads. 
Now for the non-spoilery review discussion. I, I, I caught a review, but it's more a discussion of the book. Could go way into too much detail. Um, so the main girl goes to work at this, like, castle. Um, for this guy that everybody in town is scared of. Um, he's scarred and he never leaves his home or rarely leaves his home and there's all kind of rumors about him you know her aunt don't want her to go but she needs she needs money she's fresh out of high school I think she's like 19 just turned 19 and she goes to be a companion for this gentleman's mom I don't think that's giving anything away it's like the very first pages couple pages of the book um, she gets there and it's not exactly what she expects. And, um, you know, everybody tells her that she probably won't even see Lucian or see him much, but she tends to run into him a lot. Like, literally. Mm. Lucian is kind of cold individual. There's a lot of things that come out in the story that kind of explain why he is the way he is. I mean, some of the main rumors about him, which like I said, I don't think this is spoiler because it's like the first few pages of the story, is that like that people say he murdered his wife, he murdered his, his child. Um, you know, it's just, that's probably part of the reason he's he kind of cold and reclusive because everybody talks about him. And of course, you know, they meet up, sparks fly, not always positive, you know, good sparks. <laughs> and one thing leads to another and, you know, a romance ensues. I mean, that's not spoilery because it's a dark romance, so we know that. There's enough twists. Like, the, the, I expect twists, and usually I can see them coming, but there was a couple in here that I was like, oh, like sometimes I'd, like... I, figure it out right before it would happen like a few chapters before it would happen and it still would kind of be like oh 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 yeah that I see it I understand that it was leading up to that wasn't it or no I did not even see that coming and there was one thing that you know I I thought early in the book and then I'd like forgotten it or decided that wasn't it and then it pops up later and I'm like oh crap <laughs> I, I would have been right if I'd stayed on that train of thought so it had some kind of surprising little twists here and there. Not little twists, big twists here and there. So look forward to that. Um, I think now I will get into the spoilers part of the discussion. So I will put a time up on the screen where you can skip. So trigger warnings. This should have had trigger warnings. There, there are events in it, like past, you know, like past rape and past child molestation and um, just pedophiles. There's pedophiles in this book, and it it don't go into detail for like the younger children. It does go into detail for the older teenage, like 16, 17 year old ones, which is still child molestation. That's still child abuse. It's still, oh, it's still disgusting. But it's, it's one of these, those books that it kind, it doesn't, no book needs pedophilia in it. I mean, you know, but it, it's, it's kind of part of the character development for some of the characters that's in this book. And it explains a lot of what happens. So without it, I mean, I think the book, it wouldn't be the same without it. I'm just glad the author handled it the way she did, at least for the, like, younger child that it happened to. It didn't, like, go into any... I mean, it went into some detail, but it, it wasn't there just to be there. You know what I mean? It was actually there for a reason to show what happened in the past. And, um, the rape, it was, it was the normal, like, 
drunken teenagers kind of thing that you see in a lot of books or in a lot of shows and repercussions of that were actually really interesting I won't give that much of the spoiler away but the girl why can't I remember her name I literally just finished the book like I finished it picked up my recorder and started talking my brain's just anyway the girl <laughs> her mom was a junkie a heroin addict um her aunt raised her from the time she was like nine or ten or something like that and she just basically grew up with hate for her mom and by the end she's starting to she doesn't like not understand her mom more but she understood what happened and and kind of forgave her mom for such a shitty childhood pardon my language I'm assuming y'all won't mind the language since I am talking about some really graphic stuff in this book. Um, her mom. Should I even... How many spoilers do you want in the spoilers? Well, it is the spoiler section, so her mom ends up being murdered by the man who ends up being her biological father because he didn't want it to come out that, you know, he had a a child with someone who he actually knocked up like in high school when he was like in his 30s or something and this girl was like 15 or 16 he didn't want that to come out so I guess he didn't know that he had a kid by this woman for a long time and then when he found out he went and killed her and then he's actually going to send the main girl off to this secret society that's all about sadism and experimenting with sadism and researching sadism it's, it's it's kind of interesting what the society is people need favors they need help they need money whatever then they go and they get tortured in exchange for whatever it is they need help with or you know for the money or something um anyway that's way later in the book but that's when like a lot of the more thrilling parts of the you know like actiony parts happen there's like shooting and fighting and mayhem and death and murder and yeah it's one of those books that is kind of slow and then it just like starts snowballing and so much happens in like a short period of time so if you like that kind of book yeah so Lucian I even made a TikTok. I'm like, this, this this man, this man, if I wasn't a happily married woman, and if he was real. But, you know, in real life, you wouldn't like this guy. He's, he's, I don't know if he's sadistic exactly, but he's cruel, and he's possessive, and he's domineering, and, and he's, he's really just rich and used to getting his way, which is part of it. And he just... He, he, I think he shut off a lot of his emotions after his child died. Here's my squeaky chair again as I move. And, uh, I don't know. I end up, I didn't like him at first, and I end up really liking him by the end. And I don't know, just, I guess I like possessive men, even though. My first marriage was horrible and I was married to a possessive man so I guess it's it's a matter of degree I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee it's like four o'clock in the morning that's why I'm even more scatterbrained and rambly than usual so anyway he had a horrible childhood horrible experiences about died that's why he's got these all scarred up sent to a freaking place where they brainwashed him and gave him all kind of drugs and and just he had a horrible experience that he was forced to marry a woman that he didn't love had a kid which he ended up just really loving and then that child died which that should be another trigger warning that scene 
That whole scene was heartbreaking. That's one of them that just made me just tear up. I was, it was just so heartbreaking to listen to. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I think it helped twist him a little bit. Like I said, it helped turn off his emotions. But she is really good for him. And he is really good for her. <laughs> and they just work in this book. I'm trying, I'm trying to give spoilers without giving the whole book away in case you want to read it and you haven't read it yet. Because I want you to, like, if you listen to it or read it, I want you to have some of the same <gasps> moments as I did. Like, really? That? So, like I said, it's not going to be a whole lot of spoilers because of that. Just, I don't even know what to say about it. It was just, it was dark. And like I said, child abuse, child death, pedophilia, sadism, um, a little BDSM here and there, graphic sex scenes, lewd, vulgar language. If you're into all that, then I think you'll like this book. It has a lot of good ratings, like five star. I think it's 3.98 on Goodreads. And... Let's see, what is it on Audible? Does it say? Overall, 4 out of 5, uh, 4.5 4 out of 5 for performance and 4.2 out of 5 for story. So, pretty good, pretty good reviews, pretty good average. I. She has other books. Carrie Lake, the Nightshade duology, Sandman duet, Sons of Wrath. I think I might listen to some more because I think I might like this dark romance genre. I am so sorry. I have the hiccups for no reason. Anyway, into spoilers. Probably end of discussion because like it said it is almost four o'clock in the morning and I have the hiccups and I don't know what to say because I don't want to give the whole book away for once. I don't want to discuss the whole book because it's just it's better to go in knowing about the trigger warnings and stuff knowing about some of the bad stuff you might read but I don't want to tell you the actual story because I liked it it was pretty good. I gave it um, I gave it four out of five stars. At first I was going to give it three, but I'm, I don't know. It just really stuck with me. Like, some of the things that happened and some of the things he said. and I don't know. I just really enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would going into it. Whenever I just... Cause like I guess at first I really thought it was weird. It's like, I don't know why people get into this. And then it didn't take long before I was like, oh, this is, this is good. This man. <laughs> This man is he, he, kind of attractive <laughs> for, you know, someone on, on paper that doesn't exist. All right, I'm not sure when this is going up. I'm not sure which, um, which piece I'm working on while I'm talking to y'all about this. If it's going to be cross-stitch or probably cross-stitch. I'll probably put this up with the cross-stitch piece. I'm working on several. But my next book I'm going to read is um, the latest Anita Blake book, Laurel K. Hamilton's Anita Blake series, because I have read every one of her books multiple times, and, well, I don't know about every one of her books, but every one in that series, and there's another series she has that I've read, but the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series is, like, one of my absolute favorite series of all time so um, book 30 of this series just came out today well technically yesterday since it's 4 a.m. now but uh so I had pre-ordered that one because I just listened to book 29 this year actually I listened to all 29 this year because usually every time a book comes out in that series I reread or now re-listen to every one of them but since I just listened to all 29 of them 
earlier this year, I'm going to just go and listen to book 30. So that will probably be my next whip and book review. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm so rambling. I just wanted to get all my thoughts down right after I finished it so it'd be fresh in my mind. But like I said, as I was talking, I realized I don't want to give away everything like I usually do. I want y'all, if you listen to it, to just experience what I experienced. Go on that roller coaster of emotions that I went on. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye-bye.